Hey guys, welcome back to Zubin's channel for videos related to placement and training uh, in our college that is SVNIT. Myself Nisak Dalal, I recently got placed in K India Private Limited. I am a final year B.Tech Chemical Engineering student. My role is of a graduate engineer trainee. The selection procedure consisted of basically two rounds, uh, the GD round and a PI round. There was no written round in this for the, this particular selection procedure. Uh, first of all, the selection of the different students was done on the basis of uh, their pointer. So, somewhere around 6.8 CGPA was selected as the pointer criteria. Once the pointer was uh, selected and the students were shortlisted, after that, uh, the students were <coughs> uh, divided in three groups and each and every group was uh, taken in for GD. Uh, each and every group was given were given different topics uh, which were based mostly on the recent either recent issues or mostly a general topic on which each and everyone can speak so the topics like e-commerce women empowerment uh, the surgical strike that took place then the western influence that has the western influence on indian culture these were some of the topics that were given in the gd these are the topics on which each and everyone can have read something or the other thing and can speak about it after the GD round, uh, the shortlisted students were taken in for PI. PI actually consisted of two uh, parts, but both were actually both were going simultaneously. So there was a panel in which one HR guy and one technical guy were there. Uh, HR, uh, the HR questions were mostly generic type, like what do you uh, what do you know about the company? Why do you want to join the company? Tell us something about yourself. Where do you see yourself after five years? Your long term and short term goals, etc. Uh, apart from these questions, some typical questions like where do you rate yourself on, uh, on, the, on a scale of 10 in different things like hard work, sincerity, dedication, etc. HR question also consisted of uh, family background, uh, then where, what is your preferable work location and all. These are the particular questions that they had asked. As far as the technical round is concerned, they, for some cases they had gone through the CV and once after the CV they had asked questions related to their project work or what, the, what type of internships they have done and what was their experience over there. Apart from that, uh, they, are, they asked each and every student about their favorite subjects and based on their favorite subjects, different questions were asked. So for, for my case, they had asked me about which subjects you liked and I had said uh, CRE and uh, heat transfer operation and chemical reaction engineering. So question like ba basic questions like chemical kinetics, zero order reaction, chemical uh, reversible reactions and importance of uh, zero order reactions in reversible reactions were asked. Apart from that, as far as HTO was concerned, uh, things related to conduction, insulators and what was the particular reason why metals are conducting in spite of being solid and insulators being solid are not conductive in nature. So these are some particular questions that were asked in technical interviews. As far as my experience and interaction with other students go, more or less they always they wanted to know what basic knowledge you have related to technical so things related like boiling point endothermic exothermic re reactions le chatelier principle these were some of the other questions that were asked to the people so as far as my experience with the interview goes i i think that they were particularly looking for a candidate who was motivated to learn new things who, who was an excellent team worker had uh, sufficiently good communication skills and a sound technical knowledge and as far as the technical knowledge goes they were looking for the basic physics chemistry knowledge that we had from the base of 11th and 12th standard and their application in engineering at, at a basic point of view only. So I wouldn't say that uh, too much of stress has to be given related to technical very in-depth stress on your technical and all. But if you have good overall soft skills then it will be sufficient. So thank you guys for listening and all the very best for the campus interviews that you have for the future.